Let me tell you about coordination. It's a very simple process. Go to our website, the Stand and Fight Club, and you'll, you'll see it there too where you can read it. But what it is is this. The federal statutes, the federal laws, say that every agency of the federal government must coordinate with local government. It doesn't say which local government, so it means that any element of local government, an irrigation district, a city, a town, a village, a workman's comp board, any, any department of local government satisfies the statute. It says that the federal agency must coordinate, and in that coordination, use every practicable means to the fullest extent possible to reach consistency with local policy or law. Now, to the fullest extent possible is explained as this. Unless there's a specific law saying that the agency cannot do what it needs to do, then they don't have to. In 25 years of working with this, I haven't found a situation yet where a federal law said they didn't. And the reason is that as to the federal law that said they couldn't do what the county wants, that can be coordinated. And the agency has to come to consistency. I've seen this work over and over again. The way it works is this. You as a citizen go to your commissioners. You go to your county commissioners, your county supervisors. You go to your city mayor and city council. You go to your irrigation board and you point this out. You point out that if they invoke coordination through this process, they can bring the federal agency to the table and they can end the chokehold that that agency might have over your area and the economy of your area and your particular use. It is that process that could have saved lives and property in California. Had coordination been used against the Forest Service years ago, our forests in California would not be in fire danger year after year after year. It's madness not to do it because this process is simple. Tom DeWeese of the American Policy Center, who's an expert on Agenda 21, has seen that a coordination is the only way that we can actually get results. Other ways, we can talk theory, but you don't get the result. With coordination, you have to. What happens if the agency will not do it? What happens is this. You go to court and you win. Five times, five times in 25 years, I've seen the agency get so stubborn that they wouldn't do it. Each time, a federal judge has said, you will do it. And they've sent the matter back with costs being awarded to the local government. So it is a process that works. You're going to hear from critics that it violates the supremacy clause of the Constitution. No, it doesn't. It's part of the supreme law of the land. It is the supreme law of the United States that the federal government must work with the local government to reach consistency with its policy. What that means simply about forests is that if the county has a policy that any forest lands in the county must be maintained so as to best prevent fire through logging, through clearing a brush, through keeping roads and trails in good condition, it will be done. The Forest Service will have no choice. That's coordination. When people try to tell you it's the same as cooperation, no, it's not. When they tell you it's supremacy violation, no, it's not. It is the law, and it is right. 